guys, welcome back to the Insect Nerd vlog where we talk about all things insects, stick insects, leaf insects, moths and butterflies, uh, how to look after your live feed is a video I want to do too, beetles, all sorts of things, also exotic animals such as white tree frogs, my two lovely adorable frogs if you haven't seen the videos, Neville and Luna, and also my lovely crested gecko pharaoh. So I talk about a lot really, sort of big wide range of things. Uh, nice to see you guys uh, checking in, that's great. Um, so yeah, that's, let's kick off the video today. So today we're talking about this lovely fluffy thing here. No, it's, it's not a, it's not a teddy bear. It's called a garden tiger moth larvae. So it's not a fully grown moth yet it's in the larval stage so it's 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 kind of coming towards the end of the larval stage now because it's quite huge um it's still got some eating to do however um they're very fluffy um and that's why i'm wearing a glove because um can you see how the, the fluff on its back and um, well its whole body really is very fluffy um yeah i mean that's why they're, they're actually they're actual um sort of side nickname is woolly bear because they're so fluffy but you don't you wouldn't want to stroke these guys because they would irritate your skin um so yeah always wear gloves uh with sort of caterpillars that have um irritant irritant fur like this they're not for stroking they're not teddy bears i'm afraid um but yeah they, they use it to sort of defend themselves from predators such as birds um and other things like wasps um parasites um and it's really clever because it stops them the predators from actually getting them and eating them but yeah look at those hairs they're just amazing uh so these guys sort of sort of fly as adults from july to august and then as babies you can find them from august to june uh, so you've got quite a, a, a sort of a time frame to find them there. Um, I actually got mine. Um, I purchased mine. Um, so you can purchase them online. Sometimes just make sure uh, where you purchase larvae or any live live insect um, that the person is an experienced breeder or that they know what they're doing or um, that you know, I mean, I prefer to order larvae myself rather than the eggs, but eggs or larvae will do. Just make sure, you know, uh, they're, I mean, they don't have to be the most experienced person in the world. They can be somebody who's new, who's selling them, but just make sure, um, if you're unsure, just make sure they're selling them correctly. Um, and if you find they've arrived in something like I've had bad experience before on eBay, where somebody had sent mine in a sack, um, and they were fine thankfully there was not really many holes but they were fine um but you know you always feel you have the right to complain and say this is not acceptable because insects lice matter that's my slogan but they, it does they, they do matter but yeah these guys um their numbers are pretty high um unfortunately they have dwindled a bit um from the 1980s um which yes i know it's a very long time ago but you know um it still has dwindled and numbers have dwindled uh, but they are still fairly common um and the reason why that most things like lepidectra butterflies and moths and other inverts um are sort of go instinct is because deforestation um cutting things making things neat that's what um sort of us um you know humans like to do we like things neat and tidy um and so we cut things to make them neat and, and we forget about these guys who actually live in the messy nettles they they live there they breathe there so why are we destroying this um so yeah i guess that's something to remember if, if you're doing some gardening i don't know if you garden with your parents or if your parents garden just say you know just remember about the little moths and the insects that live there See if there's anything that lives there. Um, I'm not saying never cut any bit of your garden. Just make sure that there's no living things, living eggs on the food plants or anything like that. Um, but yeah, these guys live sort of um, 
um, near riverbanks. You can also find them in woodland. Um, they are sort of quite sort of, I think, chalklands as well. They are quite sort of wide variety um, larvae. Um, but yeah, it's quite hard to find larvae and, and eggs. And I haven't fortunately found them myself. Um, I would love to. Um, I'm sort of, I mean, I'm, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not lucky enough to find them. I guess they're not really in my area area but maybe next this summer i will try and find some of my own um i have ordered some peacock butterflies which is great well larvae um so i can't wait until they come they're one of my favorite butterflies and my second favorite after the common butterfly um which i won't raise last year and i keep seeing them around which makes me really happy um so yeah i mean if you find some great well done you <laughs> um but yeah they're they're beautiful really um not many people think oh moths you know i've probably said this in another video probably in my elephant hawk moth video because they're also um native to the uk however um uh yeah you know so many people think oh moths are really ugly they're, they're icky you know they they they're, they're not colorful but actually these guys when they're adults i'll show you them but they're not adults at the moment and if you haven't seen the elephant hawk moth video see that they're great they're cool um, they're very colourful, they're very vibrant, and they're from the UK. So, you know, uh, gun tiger moths are very, very vibrant when they're adults. So, uh, not all moths are ugly. I don't actually think moths are ugly anyway. I think they're very beautiful creatures. And um, we need to remember that they do pollinate as well. Um, they pollinate plants, they take over the night shift, you know. Um, so be thankful to them for, for moths and actually for insects in general because there's a lot of, um, without insects, um, actually humanity would probably cease to exist. So just be respectful, I would say, and um, you probably are, um, but uh, I'm just very passionate about it, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, these guys are lovely and I really do suggest them. Just remember to wear gloves, keep them in a nice net. Um, so I use a nettle. Um, I will probably do an enclosure setup video for you just so you can see what, um, how to set it up. Um, I won't do it on this video because I'm already seven minutes in. <laughs> um, you guys, uh, yeah, it'd just be better to separate it, I think. But yeah, it's nice to share with you these guys. Um, some of the British wildlife is exciting, see? Um, but yeah, if you want to um, see more information about butterflies, um, I haven't done too much on moths yet. Um, I need to update my pages a bit more, so I do apologise. Um, but yeah, um, I will do some information about these guys and some other moths that I've kept. Um, uh, millipede classifications on my website now um, and some other stuff as well. Um, go to my website, www.theinsectnerd.co.uk And if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, see what these guys are up to, see how they're doing. Um, my leaf insects that are in a tank behind me, it's a temporary tank. So if you're thinking, well, that's not quite what it is. They are all really small at the moment and I'm actually due to collect the tank um, that I want them in and I've got to do some modifications and DIY, which I'm a bit nervous about because uh, it's not particularly my thing, but you know, we see. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so yeah, this is just a temporary tank for sort of the little ones. Um, some of them are getting a little bit sort of medium sized now, so I'm glad that I'm collecting the tank. But anyway, enough of that. If you want to follow me and see what any of my inverts are doing, then follow me at the Insect Nerd 97. Thank you so much for your time, and don't forget to watch some of my other videos. Um, yeah, thanks so much.